All right, hi, I'm John with JTEC Mini Automotive Program. This is my vehicle inspection. I just pulled the car in. I'm gonna check the horn. We have no horn. <laughs> Go ahead and make sure we write that down on the paperwork. All right, we got the car running. Go ahead and check the AC. AC seems to be blowing nice and cold. Go ahead and check the heat. And the heat is blowing warm. We got a lot of Alright, and next up we got horns, windows. This one we'll figure out if we can do in our hard hopper. Every window goes up and down. Love it. E brake, hey, operational. Seats work and not uh, mechanical. Alright, we're going to go ahead and check my high beams. High beams are working up front. And I'm going to go ahead and get somebody to go into my back. Are my tail lights working back there? My yes. brake lights? Awesome. Left blinker. Good. All righty. And I can see my left blinker in the front. Good. Now I go out of my go ahead and get out. Check my right blinker. Right blinker's working in the back. Got my right blinker working in the front. Okay, go ahead and throw it in reverse. Make sure those reverse lights are working. Very important. Good. Good. First lights are on, love the We're going to wrap the heat and check underneath as I pop the hood and check the fluid underneath the hood. All right. We are underneath the hood. We're going to go ahead and do our fluid and visual inspection from underneath the hood. Start the power steering here. Looks like I got some fluid around the top of it. Could be leaking. we go ahead and check that out for later. We got bubbles in it. So chances are it's probably got some aeration in the system. And it is low. We're going to make sure we note that on the paperwork. Motor oil. Nice gold, great condition. Gonna go ahead and restick it for level. And as you can see here, it is full on both sides of the stick, indicating that it is full of motor oil. All right, and next is our coolant check. Looks like we are full of coolant. We are not lacking in the department at all. The battery connections are nice and tight. I like it. Great fluid. We are full. And then we're, since this is a stick shift, we are going to check the clutch fluid since it is wet. Which it appears to be a little low. I'm going to go ahead and move the cap to confirm. And our clutch fluid is a little low, so we're probably going to have to add something and inform the customer that there may be a leak. And now we're going to go ahead and pick up the vehicle and inspect underneath after I check out these hoses and make sure there ain't nothing obvious going on with the AC or the coolant system itself. And the belt while we're here as well. If it looks to be a little worn, a replacement would not be a bad idea. Alrighty, now we're ready to go underneath the vehicle. Alrighty. This is John J. Tech back underneath the vehicle. We are going to look under here for oil leaks, which it looks to be we have a few. Looks like our pan might be leaking here. And then we're going to go ahead and look at everything else on this vehicle. It looks like our math, our slave cylinder over here might be leaking some fluid. We're going to have to talk to some people. And I just got dripped in the face here with some coolant. So we got a coolant leak going on. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and check our mount. Go ahead and check everything else for anything that might be out of the ordinary. We've got a transmission here, motor here, exhaust system here, which looks to be rusted, or a little flex deal here has been broken. And we got excessive rest, rust going on back here. All right, our axles, our CV axles, I should say, appear to be in decent order, a little rust, but that's quite all right. We go ahead and jiggle these wheels left to right and up and down to go ahead and check our ball joints and our hub. It appears to be everything feels really nice and good there. So we're going to go ahead and take a trip back here. Check out our gas tank. Our exhaust hangers here. And I'll go ahead and check our strut assembly since this view has a strut, not a shock and a spring setup. And it appears to be good. All the bushings back here look good. Brake lines look good. No leakage going on. And we can go ahead and take a feel of our tires for any kind of feathering or bumps, anything like that going on. 
and it all feels good. Something I would like to note to the customer is almost every single wheel we have here is missing a lug. So we gotta make sure to note that to the customer so they can go ahead and get a wheel lock, set key, whatever they'd like to get. All right. And then it looks like we got some minor body damage as well going on, so we'd have to note that on our paperwork as well. And then we go ahead and take our paperwork up to our service consultant.